Hello, I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Running, the trail and ultra running advice and inspiration channel. So I'm thrilled to partner with Om, the original mountain marathon and Buff to create these awesome Wild Ginger Running buffs for my most loyal patrons. Check out how you can get your hands on one in the link in the description below. So you probably already know that you can wear a buff in a variety of fun and different ways, including my favorite, the pirate. Arr. So I'm going to have a go at showing you how all these different ways work, plus a little trick that isn't on their packaging here. But first, I just wanted to show you a few goodies that Buff have sent me to wear in my films. This is their original Buff, and you can get them in lots of different colors, patterns to suit your style or match your running shoes, which is very important. It's really, really comfy as it's seamless, it's super stretchy, and it dries really quickly. It's also factor 50 sun resistant, and it's made from recycled plastic bottles. This one is made from their Dry Flex range, which is designed for high intensity activity. It wicks away sweat really fast. So this is really good for running in hot places, potentially fingers crossed Britain this summer. This one is designed for night running so it's high vis with this luma yellow with reflective dots throughout to keep you safe on the roads before you hit the trails so nobody will miss you wearing this. Now I didn't know this until they sent them to me but Buff also make cold weather gear like these hats and neck warmers so there's a whole range of different colors and styles so you can mix and match them up and be coordinated always very important and keep warm after your run. They're so soft and warm inside, I almost can't wait for it to get cold again. So now let's see how I get on with wearing my Wild Ginger Running Buff in a variety of different ways like they recommend on the other side of the package here. Plus, I'm going to show you a little trick that they haven't mentioned just here. So the first one is a neckerchief. For that, all you do is scrunch up the buff like so, pop it on, there you have a neckerchief. So that's in place of a scarf, so that can keep you warm if you put your jacket around that. The headband, that is similar to what I was just wearing it as, but with more of a sort of like Spartan kind of headband thing going on. I don't know if that looks any good. Then the next one is something called a blind chicken. Maybe this is if you want to play a game of pin the tail on the donkey. Oh no, actually this would be for if you're in a bunkhouse and it's light and you want to put the buff over your eyes because no one else has gone to bed yet and they're all using their head torches and disturbing you. So this is what you would do. You could use it as an eye patch. I actually do do this, so I don't know why I didn't think of that first. A wristband. Okay, I've got a little addition to the wristband that you can... I'll show you after this. This is my little trick that I learned. Um, but this is the wristband as per the buff packaging. Um, and sometimes if I'm doing that, I just hold it like that, just because otherwise it's a little bit loose and it wobbles around. Um, that actually keeps your hands really, really nice and warm. So that's a really good option as well. Then we've got the foulard. That seems to be like a little bit of a headband. Put it on like this, and then you just let it drop behind you. A little bit of like a babushka type look there. This one's called diadem, but I would just call this a headband. This is how I normally wear a buff. I normally put my hair in a ponytail and then I just wear it like that. And then I use a mirror to make sure that the wild ginger bit is at the front. Balaclava. Okay, so putting it over like this, I think. Then putting it around your chin like that. And then putting it around like that. Pulling it down so that your neck and the sides of your face are covered there. So there we go. I think that's a good look, don't you? Next one is a scarf. So that's similar to the neckerchief, but you put it up over your chin like this. Scarf. Then you've got hairband. So you can also use a buff as a sort of scrunchie. So I've already got my hair up, but you can use this to doubly tighten your hair or use it as a hairband if you haven't got a hairband with you. Very handy. So this next one is called Saharian and it looks quite similar to the foulard to me, but I'm gonna have a go. It's putting it on your head again, like that. 
and then pulling it back down, but giving a bit of a twist around so that it makes more of a long ponytail, I think. I don't usually wear a buff like this, um, but I'm guessing that if you do wear it with this neck bit just down like this, then you can get more sun protection on your neck. So I'd probably wear that with a low ponytail or something like that, and then have the ponytail sort of going through there like that. So that would be a good one for hot places, and I'm definitely gonna try that when I'm next in a hot place and need to protect the back of my neck. The next one is my favorite. It's the pirate, Arr. and it's a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna have to Google that one. You've got one hand in here, grabbing the top bit. Then you put the other hand in here and you grab the bottom corner there. So you've got this bit here, this bit there, and then you pull and it makes a knot. And then with the larger end, you pop it over your head. So I'm gonna have to take my hair out because otherwise I don't look like a pirate. So then you put it over the top like this and you've got a knot behind and then you are a pirate. Turn around so you can see the back. Arr. They also show you a mask, which is very similar to the scarf. So that looks a bit like so. Over the nose, like that. And then finally, this is another one of my favorite ones before I show you my little trick. And that is the hat. So you've got to put it inside out for this and wear it inside out. I think I've done this right. Inside out and upside down like this. Then you give it a twist like this. Then you open it out and you put the other bit over your head as well to make a hat. And if I've done that right, the logos will all be the right way up. And if I've done it wrong, they'll all be the wrong way up. But I can't tell because it's on my head and I haven't got a mirror. So let me know whether the logo is the right way up or the wrong way up. <laughs> Then I'm gonna show you the little trick that they don't actually mention on the back of this packet here. So you can turn it into a little wrist warmer. So I usually wear it like this. Turn it over once, hold the rest in my hand just cause it feels comfy that way. It gives you a bit of warmth. But you can actually here, get a pair of gloves and pop them in here and it becomes an extra little pocket like so. So it's a nice handy way to carry gloves. Just lightweight ones though, not heavy duty mountaineering ones. You've got them in your pocket here. But my favorite way to wear this buff is a nice straightforward sweat catching, ear warming headband. So that's how to wear a wild ginger running buff. But how will you wear yours? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already and click the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my new films. Have fun, enjoy your run, and I'll see you on the trails. This film and the exclusive wild ginger running buffs are powered by Om and Buff.